Jolene and the group of girls uh, that really kind of got our program going it was the second year I started coaching in 92 and, uh, and all of them were you kind of did what we asked them to do to try to score, to try to win, to try to be successful. And uh, it was just a good time having those kids take off all of a sudden, wow, you know, we got something, you know. It kind of helped build the program and uh, start from there. So I knew Jolene uh, as a track athlete. Um, she was one year younger than I was, and she was a uh, just a fantastic long jumper and sprinter on our on our track team. And one of the things I learned from uh, the track clinic from uh, Tom Tellis is who was uh, Carl Lewis's coach, a great Olympian. And he said, if you got somebody good, don't do anything to screw them up. And uh, you know, we worked with her. We uh, Steve Phelps was our distance coach, cross coach, and long jump coach. You know, he coached Tim Relish, who was state finalist too. And uh, they worked on doing some different, called a hitch kick. And uh, that was not the traditional, you know, run and jump. And sometimes when you do something different, it might mess them up. But for, for her, it didn't mess her up. And she never really caught on to it great yet, but she did learn a more elevated takeoff, which did help her, particularly her junior, senior year. After her sophomore year, was kind of surprised that she uh, did so well at the state meet, being not one of the top people coming in, but she ended up taking third with a 17 foot plus jump. You know, she was a, uh, you know, still is, um, just a, a great outstanding person. And, um, you know, she, uh, she raised the bar, so to speak, as far as like um, what athletes in our, in our school and even in the local area could accomplish. And uh, as a student athlete, I believe, trying to think back, that she played basketball in the fall then. I'm not sure if she played volleyball, but, you know, track, her and her parents, they were all in. Her dad was uh, prominent in the school board, and, uh, they, uh, and she was a good enough student, you know, to get to college, obviously, to compete there at that level. She's kind of like, you know, one of those role models for by just doing, you know, that's, she did the right things. One thing I, I appreciated about her very much is that, uh, you know, she wasn't looking at maybe even what the school record was for any of these things, but she had aspirations of, hey, I'm just going to do this uh, to the very best of my ability. And that just kind of raised the bar for not only, um, you know, what could be expected locally here, but even on a slightly bigger scale. So I think that was just really kind of cool and inspiring in that, you know, she she had aspirations um, bigger than just, you know, one inch longer on the next jump or, or something like that. It was, you know, um, I'm just going to send it with everything I got. And, and that just kind of raised the bar for, for people in the whole area. And, and, you know, I think what's most impressive about, you know, her athletic accomplishments is that, you know, she was a really obviously a quality long jumper, but it was it wasn't just for, you know, one or two jumps. She was a, a dominant uh, athlete in the area for, for many years. And I think that that's um, really the reason why we want to try to recognize her.